Hi, I would like to show you how to use our modeling technology with a very popular board, the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a ARM-based board running Linux. It comes with extension boards. One of them is the Sense Hut. It has an 8x8 LED matrix, a joystick and includes a set of sensors. The Sense Hat was launched to the International Space Station in December 2015. I will show you a model of an application running on the Raspberry Pi that gathers information from the SenseHat sensors. The model is designed using SDLRT. SDLRT stands for Specification and Description Language Real-Time. It is a set of graphical representations describing the architecture of the system and its behavior with a set of finite state machines. When it comes down to the gory details, C code is used within the graphical elements. Here is the architecture of our system. Each element displayed here is a finite state machine with an implicit message queue. They all run in parallel. There is a finite state machine to handle the LED matrix, one for the gyroscope, the joystick, and the pressure. As you can see with the communication channels, a central controller gathers all of the information. First, let's have a look at the state machine handling the joystick. We use the input event interface from Linux with a blocking call. When nothing happens, the state machine hangs on the pull call. When the joystick is moved, it unblocks the call, the action is read, and the information is sent to the controller. It then loops back to the blocking pull call. Let's now have a look at how to handle the gyroscope. In that case, it is a bit different because the gyroscope is not natively an event-based peripheral. The model reads the angle values 10 times per second and if any of the angles has changed, the new information is sent to the controller. If the angles did not change, no information is sent to the controller, making it much more efficient, just sending information when needed. The same principle applies to the temperature sensor, except that it's read twice per second. The last state machine is the LED matrix handler. It can switch on and off a 2x2 two two square with Pragmatev corporate colors for each LED, or it can display a number between 0 and 99. Now, let's talk about code generation out of the model and debug. We defined a generation profile that specifies in which directory to generate the code, which operating system integration to use, the POSIX integration will work for our Linux target, and which RAS compiler to use. Then, at the end of the build, a batch file is called that copies the executable to the board and launches GDB server. Okay, now let's switch on the board. Okay? And while it's booting, we will launch a debug session on the host. First, code is generated out of the model. Then it's squares compiled, copied to the target, and then GDB server is started and connects to the target. Here we are. This is the debugging interface on the host that is connected to GDB. Let's start a graphical trace so that we, we can see all the messages exchanged between the state machines. And now, let's run the system. As you can see, events are generated only if I move the board. So if I stay still, it stops. 
Okay? So now if I operate the, the joystick, you can see the different events going through and you can see the LEDs moving across. If I change mode, now depending on how I bounce the the pie, it moves the squares and last, if I press here, I will have the temperature display which is a bit hotter than what we have here <laughs> because the sensor is on the board so it, it heats up uh, with it. So now what we can do it's possible you know to stop the execution see the different state of the state machines and set the breakpoint uh, on, 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 on the model. So for that we'll go somewhere maybe the controller for example and see uh, you know when we move up or down uh, for example if I click down I can set the breakpoint here on the on the state machine and you can see it sets the breakpoints via GDB on the generated C file so now if I run again and if I go to the correct mode and if I go down so maybe down is this way yeah okay it it stops on this symbol I can step in the symbol if I want so they can keep you know the link with the model and the generated code and go down like this in the model but if I want I can also step in the generated C code and when I step in the generated C code or in the model I always go back and forth from the model to the generated C code I also can see the, the local variables from the generated C code Okay, this is it. Please note our modeling solution is available for free for small projects such as the one I have just demonstrated. So feel free to visit our website and try it out. And if you do, please send us some feedback and let us know what kind of application you model. Thanks for watching and I hope to hear from you soon.